Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Vintage Collection action figure review. We're looking at Han Solo from Endor. Um, yeah, now I sort of debated debated picking this one up for quite a while. Uh, ended up getting it for a good price. And given that I've just had recently acquired the Leia Endor and the Luke Endor from the 50th anniversary Vintage Collection figures, I decided why not round out the trio and update my Han Solo. Um, which I will do a sort of comparison with and we'll see how much it actually compares. It'll be a comparison Ford. Yeah, comparison Ford, get it? <laughs> so yeah, we'll, we'll take a look. Here's number VC62. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a re-release. It's an update. Update. This figure's been out for a long, long time. So um, yeah, like the Luke, nice update. Um, the layer, nice update. Let's get a closer look at Han and uh, see what's going on. All right, folks, here is Han Solo in his indoor gear. And uh, yeah, from the get-go, I just, I'd still just believe that this figure really could have just done with a, you know, a brand new update. You know, this figure is a pretty damn old figure. Um, you know, there's, there's some minimal changes to, to it, but you know, really, this is uh, originally got out in 2004, so we're, we're talking about a 15-year-old figure here with, um, you know, a slight tweak to the facial facial paint. Um, I don't think it's a new sculpt at all. I think it's an old, older sculpt. I could be wrong about that. Um, it's not... I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell whether this is a new head sculpt or not. I don't think it is. It just... I don't know they would have gone to the effort to make something that doesn't quite look all that great, to be honest. I mean, it's not terrible, but it looks like, you know, if you put a Han Solo in a microwave, yeah, I don't know. It's just not quite there. But for the purposes of, you know, teaming him up with, you know, the updated Endor Luke, I think it works. You know, they're not perfect. Um... It's not perfect, but uh, it's okay. So basically, it comes with his blaster pistol, which um, doesn't have any of the silver accents of the previous release, which I will bring up and show um, for the promised comparison Ford. <laughs> um, the jacket's different color. Uh, the belt is still loose. Um, there is a peg in the back where the peg actually pegs into, the, into Han's uh, peg hole. We'll call it a peg hole. So that sort of just stays there. I'll end up probably end up gluing that in. Uh, articulation's the same. Hands are the same. Nothing's changed on the figure. Um, we'll take the coat off. Because underneath, it's not a terrible Han Solo, you know? Like, it could just, you know, some ball, ball hinged hips. Uh, you know, a little bit broader at the hips there would would make this figure a lot better. Um, and yeah, those ball hinges, because the swivels here are just, you know, they're just a bit dated now. They're just not quite holding up to the test of time. Um, but otherwise, you know, it's it's not a terrible, it's not a terrible figure. It just, it's really begging for an update. And I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even be upset if they reused the top half and just gave us some new legs. So, let, while I do that, I will put the jacket aside and take a look at his older counterpart. Which, if we go just side by side, you can already see the difference in the browns of the trousers. Uh, the older paint apps are a lot cleaner. You can sort of see the stripe striping there, the yellow striping down the pants. Whereas this one, it is basically just one big red st yellow stripe, sorry. Um, Paint on the belt, on the old belt, so a bit cleaner. You can sort of see the silver accent on the barrel of his blaster. My shirt's a little bit yellow, but that could just be my figure, just because of the age of the plastic. You know, it's a 15-year-old figure. Um, and that's probably more so the case because the arms are the right color. But yeah, I never thought this head sculpt on the right there in the original was too bad. Um, and I can't really tell from the naked eye. I don't think they're the same. They must have used a different hard solo head uh, for this one here. Because, yeah, they don't 
really look the same. Again, I could be wrong, but I'm sort of seeing some differences in the sculpt there. Minor, but um, yeah, I dare say they're, they're not the same. This one here wasn't actually terrible. You know, it's a little bit basic, but you know, it is of the time. So yeah, this is what we've got. Um, you know, I, I was happy to get it just eventually. I was never in a rush. I knew this one was going to sit around for a little while. If I can get it to focus again. Just begging for, you know, a new good version of Han Solo, particularly I like the New Hope figures, um, v versions of the, the big three. Uh, we're definitely dying for a uh, new rel new versions of those um, in three and three quarter inch scale for sure. I don't normally like doing the hand thing, but there we go. So yeah, interested to see what you guys think in the comments below, sound out. Let me know what you think. Let's get this coat back on him. So yeah, but I thought I'd just show that side by side too. So the original one's a lot sort of greener, I guess. Um, yeah, it's, I don't know. I don't know which one's more accurate. Let me just put that back on. But yeah, they're pretty much the, the, the cloak, the cape, the jacket, whatever you want to call it, the coat. Coat, that's what it is. They're virtually made the same, same pattern. You know, so there's nothing, nothing groundbreaking or revolutionary about that at all. Um, so there you have it, Han Solo in Endor gear. Looking back, it is VC62, a re-release. Originally came out as part of that Revenge, this Revenge of the Jedi um, wave, but also got a return release. So I've got a couple of couple of reviews coming up as well this week. So stay tuned for those. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, like, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video. Until then, may the force be with you always.